You may have seen that Star Wars released the first official cast picture of the Han Solo film, along with some additional announcements on the cast and crew, now that principal photography on the Han Solo Star Wars story has officially begun. So now seems like a good time to talk about what we know so far. Present in the picture are directors Chris Miller and Phil Lord. We've got Alden Ehrenreich as Han Solo, who I have to admit is looking more and more the part. Donald Glover as Lando Calrissian, Junas Suetamo reprising his role as Chewbacca from The Force Awakens, and Amelia Clark, Woody Harrelson, and Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who are all playing characters that have yet to be revealed. Not in the picture is Thandi Newton, who was rumored to be joining the cast, but we can now confirm those rumors thanks to the official release by StarWars.com. When this film was first announced, I was hesitant to be excited. In my opinion, I'd rather see stories like Rogue One featuring specific events rather than focusing on characters. I don't necessarily want to see a trend of a Han Solo movie, and then a Boba Fett movie, and then a Yoda movie, and on and on. However, the more we learn about this project, the more excited I'm getting. I'm a fan of most of the cast, and I'm especially excited to see what Donald Glover will do as Lando. I'm not very familiar with Alden, although I liked him a lot in Hail Caesar, and I don't know Phoebe Waller-Bridge at all, who's currently rumored to be playing a droid. Everyone else, though, I'm sold. Harrelson is said to be playing a mentor of sorts to Han, and many fans have speculated that he will be Garrus Shrike from Star Wars Legends, thanks to the fact that Woody said he was, but I'm still skeptical about that statement. The story is written by Lawrence Kasdan and his son John, which is another big reason to be excited. Lawrence has written some of the best movies of all time, including The Empire Strikes Back and Raiders of the Lost Ark. I truly believe they will write a story that's not only exciting, but true to the character we all hold dear. But the real reason I have faith in this film is Lord and Miller. I love their movies, and what's more, they have a proven track record of taking concepts that absolutely should not be good and making amazing films out of them. Who thought 21 Jump Street was a good idea for a movie, let alone a sequel? And yet both are absolutely hilarious. The Lego movie sounded like the dumbest idea for a movie to me, but it wound up being incredible, because Lord and Miller go above and beyond expectations. They didn't make a movie about Lego, they made a movie about what it's like to be a kid playing with Lego. Now I'm rambling, but if anyone can take a Star Wars movie that at first glance sounds unnecessary and make something great out of it, it's Lord and Miller. Even their working title for the movie, Red Cup, is fun and creative and goofy. Joining them behind the cameras is a production team I'm mostly unfamiliar with, but that's just ignorance on my part. Bradford Young will be the director of photography, who just earned an Academy Award nomination for his work on Arrival, which was a great movie. Neil Scanlon is returning as Creature and Droid FX creative supervisor, and you can't deny his fantastic work on The Force Awakens or Rogue One. I have to imagine the remaining crew are just as talented. Also worth noting is that the release date for the film is still scheduled for May 25th, 2018. If I were a betting man, I would guess that Disney will push the release back to December 2018 after having two major December releases in 2015 and 2016, and I can only assume The Last Jedi will perform just as well. I would be perfectly happy to only have to wait six months between my Star Wars fixes, but I'm just trying not to get my hopes up. What are your guys' thoughts on the Han Solo movie? Are you excited or still cautious or downright against it? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with Star Wars news and lore every single day, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.